Hi, I'm Shay, and I'll be your personalized coach today. This stretch is called the Standing Archer. You want to start with your body angled to one diagonal, extend both arms out in front of you, palms facing each other, then draw your elbow back towards your shoulder, and really reach through the opposite arm. So this is a really great stretch for your chest and your shoulders. Engage your upper back as you draw your elbow sideways. This exercise is called a chaturanga push-up. Start in a high plank position, shoulders over wrists, feet together on your toes in the back. Then lower yourself down to the mat, tucking your elbows in behind you. Sweep through, bringing your heart forward, and flip your toes, you get a little stretch here. Then tuck your toes back under, find your plank. All the way down, sweep through, flip your toes, stretch back to your plank, core engage. Make sure you lift your hips back up. If that's too hard, come down as low as you can. Rest at the bottom, dropping your hips to the floor. Give yourself a little stretch here. Come back down and push up to your plank. This exercise is called a donkey kick. It's a great exercise for your glutes. Start in a tabletop position, shoulders over wrists, and hips stacked over your knees. Pull your abs in tight and keep your back flat as you kick one heel up towards the ceiling, keeping your leg bent in a 90 degree shape. You want the top of your thigh to be parallel to the floor. Lower down, kick press. The goal here is to squeeze your glutes at the top and maintain that 90 degree shape. Once you finish your reps on one side, complete the same amount on the other. This exercise is called a fire hydrant. It's great for the outside of your glutes. Start in a tabletop position with shoulders over wrists and hips stacked over your knees. Then draw your navel in, keep your back flat, and lift one leg directly out to the side and lower back down. When you lift, ideally you want the inside of your thigh to be parallel to the floor and your kneecap in line with your toe, but only lift as high as you can with control. Once you complete your reps on one side, do the same amount on the other. I'm gonna show you how to do a Superman. Lie flat on your stomach, on the mat, and when you're here, draw your belly button in and up off of the ground. Imagine you could slide your hand underneath. Squeeze your glutes, energy through your legs, arms out, biceps by your ears. Lift everything up together a few inches off the mat, and then lower down. 
If that's too hard, you can bring your arms out to a W shape, thumbs to the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, engage your back, squeeze your glutes, energy through the legs, and then lower down. Show you how to do a crunch. Start by lying flat on your back. Bring your heels close in towards your seat, kneecaps towards the ceiling, hands behind your head. Draw your elbows wide. Then nod your chin forward. Feel the tops of your shoulders off of the floor and draw your navel in and down. You want to look out between your knees as you do this exercise. And then tiny lifts as high as you can with control and really think about closing the gap between your rib cage and your hip bone as you do this using your ab muscles without pulling on the back of your head. This exercise is called frog kicks. You'll start by lying face down on the mat, Fold one forearm over the other and rest your forehead onto your arms. Then separate your feet mats distance apart, flex your feet and bend your knees. You'll press and squeeze through your heels and lift your thigh bones off the mat by using your glutes. It looks like this. Push and squeeze, push and squeeze, all the way up. 